Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. In this video, I'll show you how to do some selective color desaturation using Lightroom. Now the HSL panel is great, but it works globally. And if we combine a mask, a gradient mask, a radial mask, or a brush with a color range mask, we can do some selective desaturation. Now this isn't as powerful as other tools that let you do masking and painting and control, not only the saturation, but also the hue and the luminance, but it gets us pretty close. And so I've got this photo here. And as I was processing it, there were these green leaves and little scrub over on the right hand side. And I have treated that with a local adjustment here. And if I hover on this for just a moment, you can see that this is affecting only these little spots of green and I've desaturated them incredibly heavily. So let me turn off and delete this, uh, this option here so you can see what this looked like before I did that adjustment. Right, so that green is, is popping out quite a bit and it's just pulling the eye away from the story. Otherwise, this is a pretty monochromatic type of scene, you know, and I want you looking down this path going toward the sunbeam and then the splash of color over here, I just can't find a, a little distracting. So let's, uh, let's go through the steps here. Grabbing a radial filter, okay? And uh, I'm gonna just load up saturation as a, uh, as a starting point. It happens to be negative right now. That doesn't really matter so much because we're gonna adjust it. And I'll just drag a radial filter and position it over enough of, of this area to cover all the different scrub. And next I wanna invert the radial so that I'm affecting what's inside not what's outside the radial. And pull saturation found really, really far. So now we can see that these, these greens are getting, you know, completely, completely muddy. We don't want to go that far. But also the ground is losing that nice warm glow as a result. So that's not exactly what I want. I want to go and get a color range mask going to just target in on these, uh, these leaves here. Now to make this a little easier to see, I'm going to return the saturation back to normal. I'll zoom in here, and in the range mask area, choosing color. I'll grab the picker, and notice the instructions beneath there. It's, you know, I can do shift click for multiple samples. So I'm going to carefully position that eyedropper, and I'm holding the shift key down, and I'll choose that green, and then this darker green, maybe this uh, yellowish green here, and just sample a few points inside this scrub and I'll press the O key and we'll see what our mask looks like. Now what I'm expecting is this will look better but not perfect, right? So far so good. We'll put the tool away. Now we'll start adjusting the range. Start pulling this in, reining it in from the less saturated scrub areas. And this is starting to look pretty good. This part here, maybe I need another uh, another sample point. So again, with the shift key held down, let's pick that leaf right there. See if we can bring in some additional parts on this guy right there. If I need to, we'll open up the range a little bit, be a more little more liberal with what we consider a green. And notice this is getting me in the realm. It's not perfect. There is uh, too many subtleties in the tones. This is about as far as I'm getting with the color range mask. Thankfully, I have the brush with an erase tool. And so I can now have take care of things outside the areas that I don't want to have affected. I don't want any of that uh, desaturation to be happening. I'll just start sweeping through here. And you get the idea, right? I can finish this off by sweeping through this stuff. And I won't make you watch me do all the detailed brushing work. And then quite honestly, it won't be that detailed. I'm not going to worry about having a perfect mask. I just want to have something that's reasonably feathered and reasonably soft so that when I'm all done, I can reach for this saturation slider, start pulling it down, and I'll really only see the impact on the leaves themselves. And so that's the technique. So leveraging the color range masks, using them to get as close as you can. And if you have to do some cleanup work, use the erase brush to eliminate the sections of the, 
the selection that you don't want affected. So if you are like on the fence between I'm almost done with this photo and I don't want to have to launch into another tool that might have more fine grained masking, sometimes a range mask is what you can reach for. You can do some selective desaturation based on color and you can get some pretty good results. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. My name is Scott Davenport and until next time, happy shooting.